Hi, my name's Craig Betjeman. I'm the Managing Director of Evermax Avocado Services. Uh, we provide a, uh, orchard services for avocado growers and we specialise in uh, spraying avocado orchards. We've got three spray units presently and we cover quite a wide area from Otamarakau, east of Tapuki, right up to Athenry, north of Katikati. Yeah, I'd just like to show you this fan because it's, it's, uh, it's been a new development from Andreoli Engineering in Italy. Um, they've designed this fan especially for spraying trees so it's, uh, it's got a tremendous output. The air is sucked in the front here which prevents a lot of the leaf choke problem. When you get air sucked in from the back you tend to get a leaf choke problem. It's coming in the front, it's going through a 12 bladed fan, axial fan, and then they've uh, computerised the, uh, the baffles at the back here to give maximum airflow in a 180 degree quadrant. So we're getting air uh, out at the bottom as well as right around to the top. Unlike a lot of uh, sprayers out there now which are mainly designed for doing kiwi fruit canopy which is just the top uh, section of, of the fan is, is, is effective and, and of course people have put volutes to try and direct the air over to one side. But this one is designed specifically for spraying trees and it's very effective. Now we've tuned the fan out to the maximum 45 degree pitch so that's improving the performance quite significantly. In fact we had to upscale the tractor to a 100 horsepower tractor to run this fan which just goes to show you how much air it's sucking in and blowing out. So we're getting a tremendous amount of airflow, which is of course helping the spray penetrate the trees. If we walk around the front here, we've got the pump. It's a 220 IDS, which means it's capable of 220 litres a minute. One of the biggest pumps available. Need that, of course, for the extra volume we're required to spray both sides of a row. And across the top here, we've got a row of solenoids, which controls the four banks of jets at the back here. Obviously, we can turn the top ones off when we're in smaller trees and turn everything on, top ones included, in the bigger trees as well as turning off one side and leaving the other side going and vice versa. Now what really excites me about this new unit is the sheer volume of air it's pushing out. It's pushing out a tremendous amount of air which is really assisting with the coverage within the trees. And in particular, get spray onto the underside of leaves where small, hard to kill insects like thrips and six spot mite live. I'm gonna put these water sensitive papers in the trees in various places through the trees at various levels. We'll do a spray run through here and then we'll come back and uh, have a look at the uh, distribution of water droplets on the papers. Here's one sensitive paper. You can see that's very good coverage, very even coverage right over the underside of the leaf. Uh, that's excellent, that's what we want to see. And over here, quite a way in the tree, we've got one here that's been totally soaked. It's got a lot of spray on. And even further up in here, higher up, further inside the tree, we've got a very good coverage there as well. we'll go over to this tree over here, where we put some papers, check them out. We've got another one here, good even speckling right across the, the paper. We've got this one right up high here. It's also uh, fairly well inside the tree and it also has got extremely good coverage. Good speckling right throughout the whole piece of paper. As you can see, we, we're getting really good coverage inside the trees and also on the backs of leaves, which is what we want to achieve. I'm confident this unit will assist with increasing our export pack out by reducing our insect damage. And as history shows, Export is where the return is for growers. For the last two seasons there's been about an $8 difference between local market tray of fruit and an export tray of fruit. So if you were to compare two orchards producing 3,000 trays say, Orchard A has a poor spray program and gets a 50% export pack out. Orchard B has a good spray program using highly effective gear gets 90% export pack out. Orchardist A has missed out on a 40% of his fruit going to export. So that's 1,200 trays, say, at $8, or $9,600 that orchard has missed out on. I mean, that would pay for a year's spraying three times over. 
been using Avamax now for uh, about the last seven years. Um, during that time, the orchards consistently produced a high export uh, percentage of fruit sitting around the mid-80s and the uh, reports we've got back on our rejects have very few in the way of um, insects or pest damage. It's mainly for other reasons at our reject levels uh, when we analyse them. So I think that's due to a couple of things. Very good spray coverage, consistent application and in fact we're using Evergreen monitoring to drive that spray programme. So those together um, seem to give us the results that are near the top of the grower uh, certainly the pack through our pack house. It's over 12 years that uh, we started spraying my orchard. I wouldn't be here with Craig today if it wasn't for his performance, the satisfactory results we got. The pack outs uh, over the years somewhere ranging between probably 75 and 85 uh, cent pack out. I feel very confident uh, in the people who are looking after avocados. I love them. I've been growing them now for 45 years. I'm not one of these computer buffs. Craig has done all my recording for me, my spraying, also my fertilizer. My trees are fertilized every month, so I rely on him to a great degree. His service extends further than just putting the spray on. The service I've had from Craig, as I said earlier, is excellent. Responsive is the way I'd describe the, the service I get from Avamax and Craig. Uh, and professional. While you're here, have a good look around the website. You'll see we offer varying degrees of service from hands off to full pest and disease management. Give me a ring anytime. I'm available 24 7.